Always put on essential required personal protective equipment when handling either a suspected or probable or confirmed case of viral hemorrhagic fever. This includes Ebola. The dressing and undressing of personal protective equipment should be supervised by another trained member of the team. Gather all the necessary items of personal protective equipment beforehand. Put on the scrub suit outside of the room in which you're caring for the patient. Put on the impermeable overshoes. Place the impermeable gown over your scrubs or uniform. Once booted feet are through the footholes of the suit, ensure they are tied securely on the outside of the suit legs. Once the suit is on and zipped up, apply the FFP3 face mask. Ensure the straps are separated to secure the mask and that the mask is fitted well over the bridge of the nose. Put on the goggles or face shield. Pull up the hood and ensure hair and as much of the face is covered. Decontaminate hands. Apply two pairs of gloves. The first pair is put on with the cuffs underneath the cuffs of the suit. The second pair of gloves is applied with the cuffs over the cuffs of the suit. Finally, ensure all personal protective equipment is secure and intact before entering the room to care for the patient. For personal protective equipment removal, we recommend the use of a buddy. This is a second person wearing gloves, apron and an FFP3 mask who will assist the person removing the protective equipment. Remove the overshoes with your gloves still on. The buddy can assist by holding open the bin or disposal bag. Remove the suit. The person wearing the suit should only have contact with the outside of the suit. The buddy can assist with the zip 
and contact with the inside of the suit to roll it inside out and dispose of it safely. Once the suit is loosened, the outer pair of gloves can be removed. Take care to avoid contact with the feet. Roll the gown inside out and dispose of. Remove gloves and decontaminate hands. The buddy can then assist with removal of the eye protection and the mask. And then remove their own protective equipment. Hands are decontaminated before mask removal. During PPE removal, take care not to have contact with the physical environment and risk recontamination. Following removal, leave the affected room, close the door and ensure the area is not used until waste and linen have been appropriately removed and the area decontaminated. Do's and don'ts. Do isolate the patient in a single room with a door. Do use a buddy to check you have correctly fitted PPE. Do remove gloves if they're torn or damaged. If you remove torn or damaged gloves, decontaminate hands prior to putting on replacement gloves. Do remain in the room until the patient is transferred. Do pass blood samples out of the room bagged into a secure container for transfer to laboratory. Don't touch eyes or skin with PPE. Do not adjust PPE. Do not leave the room in PPE.